it's time to clean out the chicken house. This chicken house needs a major renovation. I have been letting it go and letting it go and letting it go. And finally, I have to clean it. So this is just going to be a little bit part of a video. It's a happy video to share with you some of the chores I do on the homestead that doesn't involve food or jars or cooking. <laughs> So my chicken house is a mess and what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of cedar shavings in with my regular shavings. It's just a real mess. What happens is if you don't keep your chicken house clean your chickens won't lay in their nesting boxes. Did you know that even a chicken likes to have a clean house? So this is what happens when a chicken house is dirty. The eggs are all over the place They're on the floor and everywhere. That is a good sign for you that chickens are not happy in their house. So we have to do a little bit of cleaning in here today. And I hope that you enjoy a little bit about this part of my life. It's something I don't really film a whole lot. Cleaning reminds me a lot of my mother. My mother was a hard worker. She was a perfectionist. And you know when you get outside and you really get busy working, you can just clear your mind and clear your heart. And I can just visualize that's what my mom did. It wasn't until about in my 40s that I learned that my mom had some things that she had to work on in her life. Things that she kept hidden from me for most of my life. And I think about her now in different, a different viewpoint sometimes. And how she had to struggle. And what was she thinking as she worked. My mother never sat still. She was always, always working. And sometimes I wonder if that was her downfall in life. She never did sit down. She never did take life easy on herself. She worked hard. She worked hard up until she couldn't work. And I often think about it and often wonder, did she work hard to try to forget some of the pain in her own life? And so there's always a balance between working all the time or not working at all. And these are the things I think about today. I'm going to finish cleaning up this chicken house and I'll show you what it looks like when we're finished. You know, as I brush down all these cobwebs, it reminds me of something. When's the last time that you brushed down all the cobwebs of your life? What are your cobwebs? Doubt, fear, pain from your childhood. When's the last time you took a broom when's the last time you took a broom and you cleared out all of that junk in your life? Are you like me? Do you wait until it all get so bad that you have to clean it all out. Now come on, you know it. We let the junk in our life pile up little by little. And before we know we have one big mess, get out the broom and get out some elbow grease and clear it all away. That's what I say. And you know what? When you clear it all away, it looks brand new. That's what every day is like, my friends. Every day is a brand new day. Just like this dingy old chicken house. Just like this, it's going to be clean. A clean slate. And my chickens are going to be so happy.
it out and putting new in? Are you filling your life with happiness and joy? I sure hope you are. All right, everything's finished. So I get my shavings from Tractor Supply. That's the cheapest. And I always put a handful of cedar shavings in their nesting box. The cedar shavings help keep rodents away because rodents do not like the smell of cedar. And right away, the chickens love to see when I clean up their house. They, look, they like to look around. They like to see if there's anything different. They can tell immediately when a chicken house is clean. And they love it. Isn't it amazing how the animal world is like us humans? They like when things are clean. And look how they're looking around at everything. The rest of the chickens are just going through all the old shavings and they're looking to see if there's anything new there to eat, trying to figure out what's going on. Chickens are very curious. They want to know what's up. But I can guarantee you they're happy. Oh, they are so happy. And that's how we are. We're no different than chickens. We're happy when we live in an environment that's safe and clean. And we're also happy when we take clutter out of our life, however that may be. Maybe we all need to learn a little bit of something from the chickens today. I hope this video blessed you like it's blessed me. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing me out in my chicken house with my beautiful chickens. There's been many times that I've been out here in my chicken house where I shared happiness with them, sadness, anger, <laughs> and laughter. I love sitting and watching my chickens. They gave me great peace. About 10 years ago was when I first acquired chickens. I was going through a time in my life that was very stressful. I had a lot of anxiety and I had a lot of panic attacks. After I got my first flock of chickens, my life really changed and improved because I was focusing on helping my chickens and feeding them and taking care of them and they were listening ear on times in my life were hard. Animals are like that no matter what kind of animal you're passionate about, whether you love cats or dogs or farm animals like I do. Animals can bring so much joy and so much happiness into your life. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey everyone, it's time for Fanny's Diary and guess what? We're on November the 1st, 1943. Fanny writes, Today it's raining. I attended Junior Sewing Circle at Stoner's. Elizabeth's buddy, Jean, was there, and Barbara Whitmer, Anna May were also along. All the girls were together once again. If you like videos about chickens, here's some videos I thought you might enjoy. I have quite a few of them of my journey and my adventures with raising chickens.